All right, I have to share this with you all. This is one of the craziest optical illusions I've ever seen. It was posted about a year ago by this account. I'll put the tweet over here somewhere. Jagarikin. And I'll go ahead and play the animation right now. You can see we've got two cubes, but within the cubes are these arrows that do different things, point different directions, expand outward, go inward, rotate, and so forth. And then the cube itself appears to do those same things. So I saw this and I thought to myself, this is one of the coolest optical illusions I've ever seen. And it only got cooler when someone Someone said, hey, you can actually cover up the arrows and the cubes still move in those same ways. Now, this is where I apparently am different from a bunch of optical illusion gatekeepers. I don't know what else to call them because so many people have objected saying, no, this is not a true optical illusion. The cubes are actually moving. The arrows have nothing to do with it. Now, number one, you can see that's true. The arrows don't have anything to do with it. I've covered them up here with the same blue color, so you're only looking at the cubes, and you can see they're still changing in the same ways they were before. They look like they're expanding outward, or maybe they're coming inward. They look like they're rotating one direction and then the other direction. I think that's amazing. I think that's super cool that the arrows actually have nothing to do with it. But a bunch of other people on, you know, those other social video media sharing platforms objected to this and said, well, that's not really a true illusion. The cube is actually moving. Now, I want to be careful here. Obviously, something is changing. Otherwise, it would not look like it's moving. This is not stationary in the sense that there are no pixels changing whatsoever. But the object that this represents, the box or the cube, it's not moving. So I'm going to place a stationary grid over my whole, you know, background or whatever. And I'm going to blow up just that first cube so that you can see it next to me. As you watch the cube, pay attention to the grid behind it. The cube does not move. Now, you can see that there are colors that are changing. In other in other words, all the pixels that represent the cube, basically all the non-blue pixels, they do not move. They do not translate left to right or up and down. They're not shifting. What they are doing is changing color. You can see that part of the way this illusion is working is there are these thin black or white lines that are moving as if a shadow is being cast over them. And then we see this grayscale change happening as well. That color change is what's causing the illusion. So there definitely is something changing here. If to you that means it's not an optical illusion anymore, more, more power to you. I don't know why it's particularly important to call that an illusion or not, but that's totally true. Something is changing, but it's not movement itself. The pixels that represent the box are not shifting. They're not translating up and down or left or right. They are changing colors. And to me, that's the source of the illusion. I don't know why someone would go to the lengths of saying, well, that means it's not an illusion in the first place. 